All right, you are listening to MWM Podcast Books, and I'm Andy Dawson. And today we're going to have a books podcast episode, and we have a guest speaker today. Uh, his name is Akshay. So let's hear from Akshay. Hi, Mary. This is Akshay. Hello, you. Hello, listeners. So today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite books by author John Marsden. It's called the Tomorrow Series, and this is the third series, third book in the series. It's called The Third Day, The Frost. Yeah, but uh, before that, we want a self introduction from you, Akshay. Okay, no, my bad. So I'm from Bangalore. I'm a writer and an entrepreneur. So I like. To, I'm trying to get into podcasts. So I thought it was a good ch- chance for me to explore my voice and see how I can improve in this space and start my own thing. But thank you so much for having me. Okay, so we're gonna talk about Akshay's favorite book, one of his favorite books. So the third day. uh the frost book number 3 of the tomorrow series by john marston so it's it's around 290 pages and uh, yeah akshay can you give us an overview of the book and the story all right so this book is basically an, an adult uh, young adult fiction so it follows the tales of ellie linton and her friends and uh, they are a bunch of guerrilla warfare of uh, warriors who trying to survive the middle of outback australia uh, the country has been invaded by foreign force and uh, uh, they've had a few successful missions for so far in the guerrilla warfare in the first book they destroyed a bridge which was a vital supply line for uh, the enemy in the second book they destroyed a vital command post but as it's in the, it's in the middle of a war zone so they don't know what's going on what the outside world is thinking about whether their actions have had any impact whatsoever So uh, this book continues from there after the events of book 2 where they talk about well and winter is approaching so they are, they're trying to get ready for the winter maybe think about more missions that they can do So the book opens the very interesting quote by King Henry VIII The third day comes a frost a killing frost So I believe this quote now uh, describes the book I will describe it in one line. This describes it perfectly, as that as uh, things are starting to get darker, winter is coming, so you got to be prepared, and and this sense of ominous uh, being. So, uh, so that's it's a this quote sets the tone for the rest of the book. So the book opens with them, uh, with the her and her friends in hell, which is basically a valley, in the middle of nowhere, out back Australia. and they're trying to survive they just finished the last mission where they bombed the command post but but they have no idea what the, the impact of their actions have had so so for the past few weeks several weeks they've had helicopters going through the area up uh, patrols they are the enemies really really trying to find them and catch them so because of the 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 amount of response that they got uh, for their actions they believe that uh, they've killed somebody very important perhaps a commander or a general but they're not but they don't know for sure because they don't have access to radio or the internet as a whole countries has an internet blackout because of the war and uh, using radio a radio would be hazardous as it could alert an enemy to their location so the book opens at hell so they're talking about their lives they're trying to just survive and eat stay warm stay clothed the the, the book oh, I was in chapter 1 goes through you find that of uh, that the uh, Lee has an injury Lee is Ellie's boyfriend um and just she has he has an injury because of starvation because of the cold and he's unable to function as she as he should, should in bed that's where the book begins and and as all of this is going on they're still trying to uh, understand what they're going to do next what is the next mission where did they go from here how do they attack something big and do they want to uh, how do they how do they continue the guerrilla efforts that the uh, partisans in the country are doing how do they serve their country so this is when uh, that is when one of heaven one of uh, ellie's another friend comes up with the idea of bombing cobbler's bay which is a major port for the uh, for the enemy and as, uh, as well, by destroying that they would deliver a crushing blow which could severely impact uh them uh, their activities in the country 
together, give civil impact activities, activity in the country, and further bolster the, the partisan efforts. So they, they head off, uh, off to Cobblers Bay. It was getting colder, uh, so they, most of the things that they packed were winter jackets, uh, lots and lots of food. The packs were heavy, which is a, quite a stark difference from the last two books where the packs have been prepared to be lighter and they were prepared for more hot weather. So on the way, they ran into one of their old friends who they thought was dead. His name is Kevin. So, okay, and Kevin was very shocking to run into him. He was actually at a work camp run by the enemy and uh, uh, he was barely trying to eke, eke out a, a, a living wage, just trying to survive. And it was a big shock to them. And they met, they discussed plans to attack uh, Cobbler's Bay together. But first, they have to help him escape. So that's where they had to create a very complex plan of, uh, of where Ellie, Lee, Kevin, Fiona, who's another friend of uh, Ellie's, and Robin. They worked together uh, to, uh, to kill and uh, to kill two soldiers. It was hard as a sort of bunch of teenagers, this 17, 18 years old, taking a life is a very difficult thing. But still, Ellie takes it upon her and she kills one of the soldiers. Uh, but this, uh, this experience had a tremendous impact on her psyche, uh, which could be felt uh, well throughout the book, this book, and throughout the forthcoming novels after this. Okay, this has more uh, book four and five, is it? Yes, it has a uh, battle book seven, and it also has a forthcoming series of four books, which focuses more on Ellie's life after the war. Okay. Uh, so yeah, from what you have said, I, uh can perceive that there are a lot of characters and you remember all the character names so it must be etched in your mind the story so uh, it's about a group of teenagers you know trying to navigate a war that's happening in country and if i'm right you said you mentioned australia yes and also the term gorilla so is it like inspired from vietnam you know or, uh, fiction inspired by real uh, vietnam war or something well the author did mention that he did take some inspiration from the korean war and the vietnam war so I, sus I suspect he kind of took those elements, made it his own, and kind of talk, uh, talks about his own version of what it would be like to fight behind enemy lines. Okay. Interesting. Is, is it because the author is uh, from Australia? That's why he said it in Australia? Yes, the author is set in Australia. All of the characters are Australians. Okay. Yes. And uh, I like one of the biggest takes of how he talks about living in the Australian outback. And he has, the author himself does a lot of camping. Uh, so he's very familiar with the wildlife. There's a lot of mention of wildlife in the book as well, which is a very interesting take on in terms of detail. Okay, so coming back to the characters, and uh, you mentioned Ellie is the protagonist, I guess, yes, and her friends are uh, trying to navigate the world. So how are these characters uh, developed? So, and uh, before that, uh, have you read the book one and two? Yes, I've read all the books. Okay, so Ellie is from book one or like it's, so uh, she's she's a character from book three alone? Uh, she's a character from book one. Actually, the uh, page one of book one actually opens with her perspective. Okay. Uh, like how she's going to a fair. It's, uh, it's the Australian Independence Day, the national day in Australia. So she uh, is going to uh, attend a fair and just uh, meet her friends. And then one of, uh, then the, one of her neighbors decides makes a suggestion that they go on a camping trip. And so that was a great idea. So they uh, go on a camping trip, thereby avoiding the show entirely. And that, that's when the invasion happens. There's, that's how the, the first motors run. But that would be major spoilers. So let's focus on this book. Yeah, so yeah, uh, coming back to the characters. So in this book number three, uh, the third day of the frost, how are the characters developed and uh, uh, is it the characters that's driving the story or the events that are taking place? I think it's a bit of both. The characters have matured a lot in the past couple of books. They have been through a lot of harrowing events, but far, far too much for their age. So as of, in this book particularly, you see a lot of hardship, you see mental distress, you see physical distress. You can really see the characters evolving and how they manage their own lives, how they manage friendships, relationships. And uh, it's sort of a, how every character develops by themselves and yet together as a unit. Okay, nice. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, who's your favorite character? 
That's a good, very good question. I think my favorite character would be Robin because she, in my opinion, she has undergone the most character transformation. In this book, I can actually see the transformation happening, particularly in this book. Uh, so she started out in book one as this very conservative Christian girl. And by book two, she was finding her element uh, within her group of a friend group and the events that are going around her. In book three, she is the complete opposite person that she was a couple of books ago. She is taking charge, she's taking leadership, and she's helping out the protagonist. She is actually responsible for one of the bigger uh, explosions that will happen later in the book. Yeah, the, I feel uh, the theme itself is, uh, what do you say, impressive aspect, like setting it on a drama, a war drama, and then a group of teenagers navigating the war drama. So, yeah, it, it has this uh, aspect on its own. So, uh, why particularly book three is your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> That's an excellent question. I would say it's because of the slightly darker undertone that this has. The way the book starts out, starts with everybody feeling lost and depressed, not knowing know what to do next. Something I can relate to my own life. That's where uh, the inspiration comes from and how I engage with it. Is this particular book more than the rest of the others and uh, this book particularly goes a uh, deep dives more into the characters slightly slower pace which is something that i enjoy and uh, it focuses on character development specifically of ellie of course but also of robin uh, which is a stark contrast to the other books where there's focus on more on the boys this book uh, in this book there's particularly focus on uh, on robin and uh, less of the boys more of the girls so you can see a stark change in the writing style and the pacing finally how, how they go, go about into the final stretch, that is the entire climax. Slightly better, slower pace, which is that's something that stands out for me. Okay, so the writing, the story, the characters, which uh, is your most favorite aspect from this book? I would say, I will, I'll reiterate what I said before, it is the character development, specifically of, of Robin, who went from being a very conservative Christian girl who follows all the rules. She's like your perfect uh, student, gets straight A's, uh, goes to church. And, and in this book, she's like, okay, I'm going to be a badass. I'm going to uh, blow some stuff up. Okay, nice. So uh, how did you end up reading this book? Well, I actually came across a series from the first movie, Tomorrow When the War Began. Uh, okay. So the, it starts on the extent. Amazon Prime series Tomorrow War is that one? No, that is also based on the same uh, okay. series, okay. but the movie came out I guess a decade ago. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, it had it had a lot of reception around the world, but less so in Australia. But uh, when I did a lot more digging, I found that this is something that I really like the, this genre of uh, uh, end of the world kind of series. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, have you read all the books in the series? Yes, I've read all the seven books. Seven books, okay. Yeah. Seven books. Okay, so for uh, uh, since this uh, book is in itself a promotion for the whole series of books, so why do you want anyone or any uh, book, uh, what do you say, bibliophile to pick up this book and read? Well, I would say I'll, any bibliophile should absolutely pick up this book because it is very relatable as a young person who's just try, trying to understand the cusp of adulthood. If you're 18, you're going to college, you're facing the real world on your own. How do you do it? How do you face the challenges? Are you on the right path? Who do you ask for help? What do you figure out on your own? And so all the questions that I had as an 18-year-old and several of my, my friends who were 18. Uh, so I believe that this is a, a, the perfect book uh, to understand what it feels like, take the next step from being a teenager to an adult. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, it's it's, it's an interesting uh, concept, uh, fiction based on realistic uh, incidents, and then there's teenage trying to navigate a survival, uh, you know, post-apocalyptic kind of world. So yeah, thank you for this uh, recommendation. And how was your first uh, podcast experience? I love it. I want to do more. <laughs> but, <laughs> were you nervous? A little bit in the beginning, yeah. But uh, as the conversation went on, I feel like I could get more into my element and just uh, let loose. Okay, so yeah, guys, uh, the book that Akshay had uh, come up with was The Third Day, The Frost, book number three of the Tomorrow series. So it's actually a series of seven books and uh, the third book was Akshay's favorite. That's what we are talking about it today. And it's about uh, 289 pages. So it's it's not a very 
a long novel it's just a moderate uh, length novel anybody could pick it up and read and uh, yeah it's available in amazon or any other bookstore near your town so do purchase it and read it and uh, we thank akshay for an episode with us and yeah hope hopefully uh, you will return with more favorite books of yours i'd love to thank you thank you so much yeah uh you stay tuned for uh, for the episodes uh, you're listening to mwm podcast books and i'm ari dawson bye bye